Okay, campers, and I do mean campers. I am at the Second Life birthday, uh, 16, and today I have just discovered the new theme for Belisaria, and it is campground. And I'm not too sure about this now. I'm. It was kind of a shock when I first walked through it, but now I'm beginning to think that, you know, this there is certainly a place for this. Uh, whether someone can camp 24-7 is anybody's guess. Uh, some of these are, are a reasonable size. None of them are large. Uh, this one is one of my favorites. It is a modern Gypsy Bargo. I like this for several reasons. I love the front porch. The front porch could almost be like a living area, a sitting room or something. Um, and uh, then inside here, you will find a second large room. And I suppose it could be like a bedroom with maybe, a, I don't know, a small sitting area in it or uh, uh, a bedroom bath in it. Something, something, um, something, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm going to have to think about this. This is, this is a good size room. Don't get me wrong. It's, it, it would be, it would make one good size room. Um, my juices are cooking here. I'm trying to figure out what ways I can, what I can do with this. Thinking tense. I'm thinking tense. So this is, uh, this is one of them. Uh, this is the modern Gypsy Vargo. Uh, there are, I think, at least three more. I'm really hoping that, I, I went by a cabin. It, it was a premium group gift in the winter for, um, for premium members. And, uh, I'm, I'm hoping that they use that model. And, uh, do a, a, a few of those in uh, around here. This is a second version. It's a little smaller. It has no outdoor portico, if you will. Sorry, ignore the dogs in the back. Um, it's as you see, it's got a step up. Uh, I just wanted to get this video out because I don't think people know about this. Um, I certainly didn't today. Um, so I wanted you to know. This is obviously, this is a, these are controls. I don't see any, anything on the windows to secure them and make them private. I'm assuming that is going to be in the window control. And uh, again, and like there, there was a sign at the front that said, uh, this is just a, a quick, Set up that, uh, and and that when the, it actually gets in the, on the land, it's going to be a, a little bit better. Than, you know, it's going to be different. It's going to be different. It's not going to be quite as much. I'm not 100% certain, but this looks like a 512 plot of land. Don't quote me on that because I don't know. Although the Lindens have mentioned something about some future um, areas being 512 plots. So I'm wondering how people will take it when it's half the, the land and half of, of the uh, land impact uh, that you can have on it. So not real sure. I do love the actually, actually I do love the close to nature. With all this nature around, I, I just don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't. Think, and I don't, I don't think that you would really need to put anything out in these yards. I mean, there's, a, there's a lot here. If the main, if it, if the work that's coming on, you know, if it, if the area that these are put in are as rich as this in flora and fauna, I don't think that um, it would be so bad if they're on both lots. This lot over here is, oh, all right, so I'm sorry. Let's go back here to this one. 
this one is a bit smaller. There is nothing. Um, there's nothing uh, to sit on out. There's not like no covered patio or anything. But um, when you click on the and open it, now I'm going to go in. We'll be able to see. There is. It's it's a little bit. Well, it's it's a lot smaller. It's it's kind of cramped. Um, but you know, you have to applaud Lindens. I mean, pop. You know, camp camping campers are popular. They're very popular. And Lindens, as I said before, in the in the first uh, home preview, they are paying attention. And it's a good thing that they're paying attention, even if you know. Uh, even if um, some of the things that they provide aren't quite up to, you know, um, uh, even if they aren't up to it, or even if they're just different than what we expect, uh, I guess. Uh, this house over here is my second, is, is also another one of my favorites with the ramp. It's, um, it's very roomy, it's very, it's nice big, and uh, it's got these double doors on it. The round windows and there is a lot of room in here I have to say it is it might be a little bit harder to decorate inside because of these two round but you know you're up to the challenge so that's one of my other favorites so uh, the gypsy uh, the gypsy Vardo and are two of my favorites. Let's go look and see. Alright, so that's three of the homes. Um, let's see if there's a fourth one. I guess these are the same homes. They're just... homes here that are the same so we've got from what I can see I've, I've looked at three of the four of them let's see if we can't find a fourth one looks like this is number four It's longer, it may be a little wider. Uh, I'm not sure because it's so long. So uh, I could see, I could see, actually, this is quite long. I could see this might be a good size home for someone. This could be a good size home. Uh, the three that, that, that are my favorite, this is one of them, are, are could very well, could easily be uh, good size homes. And, uh, and then the other three smaller ones could be, you know, there are people in SL and you know who, who really like smaller homes and don't wander around with a lot of possessions and they don't want them and and uh, and they do like the, the sense of community. We've seen that and and having their neighbors and people that of like mind close to them. Um, I, I guess this would appeal to some people. Other people are going to say, who wants to camp 24-7? And both of those points are valid. So I don't want to, uh, I don't want to rock this particular boat. But, and if you look, I, I do believe if the area that these go down are as beautiful as this one, I can see trading a lot of inside for outside if it's as gorgeous as this. Well, I am Trinity Aeronaut. These are the new homes. I'm going to fly up, see if I can find the, um, the place I came in. So I'm going to cut this video, and, sh and when I come back, I'm going to have to be in front of the camera. I am now standing.
standing in front of the cabin that was the premium gift uh, this uh, winter. And as you can see, sands the snow. This would make a lovely alternate to some of those camp campers for those of us that really don't care too much for the camp, but do love the idea of camping. And if you look inside, it's cozy. It's not huge. Thank you. It's got a nice cozy feel to it. And it also has um, house controls. So I'm, I'm hoping that they add some of these to the campsites. Because as you can see, it's a lovely little home. And I love it. It would have been awesome without the snow or even with the snowy top. It's in my inventory, so we'll have to pull it out and look at it. Okay, well, this is, this is, this is my, this is the uh, idea. Um, it was here at the beginning of the camping park, so I'm hoping that, that they add this to the park as a choice. I can't imagine anything more charming than little cabins in the mountains. This is Trinity Aeronaut. I am at the Second Life birthday, number 16. We are 16 years old. We are an obnoxious teenager. Just kidding. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, please, uh, give it your thumbs up and if you enjoy seeing these kinds of um, videos uh, of everything Lyndon is doing and Belisara and fashion then subscribe to my page thank